today's video, I'll be opening up a booster box of Tag Bolt in Japanese. Let's get going. As mentioned previously, I'll be opening up the Japanese version of Tag Bolt in today's video. I have opened up a booster box of the Korean version previously and landed a beautiful Gengar and Mimikyu full art alternative version. Uh, there's still a lot of beautiful cards, surprisingly, in the set that no one would expect. There's Venusaur Celebi, Waylord Magikarp, Latios Latias, Snorlax Eevee, the list goes on, on top of Zekrom and Pikachu. And for those who are unfamiliar with the set, this came out in December 7, 2018 with approximately 119 cards. This is part of Team Up in English. English. So it's not the whole set, but it does make up a majority of the cards from Team Up. So let's see what we pulled today. Please make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon openings. Let's get going. All right, so just so you all know, 30 packs per booster box with five cards per pack. Beautiful box art. I'll let you guys take a look at the specs before we get started. Really love the artwork for Tag Team. Uh, tag Team sets in general, I think they're all done by the same artist. But let's take a look at the pack art here. And also the card list is in Japanese on the flaps if you guys didn't know. So let's go ahead and start. A lot smaller than Tag Team All Stars or Shiny Star V since it's a regular set. Back to five cards per pack. And yes, with Japanese boxes, you are guaranteed one secret rare. So I'm looking forward to see to what we pulled today. Dratini. Ooh, Meowth. Um, shifted to the side. Very interesting artwork. Beautiful mold trace. That is gorgeous. And nine tails. Okay, so one to the front, just to remind myself. Beautiful mold trace artwork right there. I love legendary birds. I'm a big fan of Lugia and the Pokemon movie 2000. So legendary birds will always sit well with me. Let's keep going. All right, we have here Ponyta. Again, lots of nice artwork in the set. Weedle. Sun and Moon hit hard <laughs> in terms of card quality. All right, so nothing in that pack. You're not guaranteed a hollow or anything crazy in each pack, but it will pop up here and there. All right, and again, just to remind myself, one to the front. Getting used to these sets. I've been opening so many high-class packs. I got used to not doing any card trick. Yukimori, Kakuna, Alolan Geodude. Ooh, and Amistar. Very vibrant colors. Look at that. Love the hollows, especially with the hollow borders. Very unique with the Japanese card stock. Even Thai, uh, yeah, Thai cards, Indonesian cards, and Chinese cards are also made with a similar card stock. They just have the English backs rather than the Japanese backs. These are exclusively only for Japanese cards, if you didn't know that. Uh, we have Muk, ooh, Tentacle with a cool background, no pun intended. <laughs> Hitmonlee, really nice Komiya artwork there. Persian, and Aerodactyl, ooh, very nice artwork there. No hollow, but very nice set of cards. So you gotta open it also for the whole set, in my opinion, not just the rare cards. All right, let's keep going here. Very smooth, love the feel of these cards. What's that back there? Ooh, I think we have a GX coming. Charmeleon, very nice. Need a ring. <gasps> Ooh, we got a great card. We got Gengar, Gengar and <laughs> Mimikyu again. Regular full art though. I have the alternative one in Korean, so I have both of them. Smash the like button. I know Cameraman's very happy right now. Yep. Because Gengar is his favorite Pokemon. Yep. Also known as Pentom in Korean, which basically is saying Phantom, but in Korean pronunciation. There's our secret rare, look at that. Smash the like button if you haven't already. All right, let's keep going. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy too. That's a beautiful card in my opinion. Okay, one to the front here. Al Almanite looks really creepy. They're just zoomed in. <laughs> Star you far-fetched. Very nice. Oh, baby, baby Craig, baby Charmander. <laughs> Very cute. Pinsir as the final card. I'm already just looking at how beautiful this card is on the side. We're gonna have a nice review. Very happy to pull that Moltres as well. All right, let's keep going here. And I wish sometimes you could pull more than one full art, but it's okay. <laughs> Dragon, very nice Dragonair artwork. It's one of my favorite Pokemon, by the way, if you didn't know. I literally, um, a Blastoise holographic. Very, very nice, by the way. Literally trained a Dragonair in Crystal version to level 100 because I refused to evolve it to Dragonite. <laughs> I just, I like the design of Dragonair more. More majestic. Not saying that Dragonite isn't nice. It is a really cute Pokemon, but me personally, I just wanted to keep Dragonair, as is Rapidash. Very nice there. And Kangaskhan with a little baby popping out of the pocket. All right. I really love this artwork, by the way. Just I think the blue with Pikachu, the yellow, really contrasts really well. Alrighty, on to the front. Galar- no, not Galar- Alolan Executor. I'm so used to saying Galar Pokemon names. Alright, Voltorb. Psyduck, looking crazy. Ooh, Gyarados, in the middle of a fire. Please explain that to me, unless it did like a hyper beam, in which that would make sense. Very nice artwork in this set again, guys. I know I keep saying it, but very astounding. 
One one card I really want to get from the set one day is that Latios and Latios alternative artwork. It is really cute. They're like both in a heart-shaped form image. Grimer, Hitmonchan, and a trainer card with a building. A sad looking building. Let's keep going. Oh, snippy, snip, snip. I like how these are just five cards per pack. Very straightforward. You already you know right away if you got something or not. Magikarp, Nidorina, Poison type, and Execute. Ooh, Bell's Analysis. I'm so used to seeing this in Hidden Fates as a regular yellow bordered hollow. So it's really cool to see it with the hollow borders. <laughs> All right. Hit the like button too if you're enjoying this set as a whole. Lots of nice cards to admire in my opinion. All right, let's see what we have here. Nice to revisit Alola, Alolan uh, Golem, and Alolan uh, Graveler, not Geodude. Squirtle, that is such cute artwork of Squirtle here. Jinx, it looks like similar artist. Yeah, it is the same artist. <laughs> Super cool, we got special knee gear. You can tell they're like, like knee boots almost. Very interesting now. When you're fighting those ultra beasts in the different dimension. All right, one to the front. We got Brock, <laughs> Brock's Grit, I believe. Paris, Dratini, Chunky Dratini, looking cute. <laughs> we need a Rand Mail. Oh, Zekrom Pikachu. Just pulled this from Tag Team All Stars, but hey, the star of the pack in, in Tag Team All Stars as well. Sleeving that one up. Need the full art one day. But cannot complain about Gengar. I think C Cameraman wants the Gengar more than the Pikachu and Zekrom full art, so <laughs> there you go. All right, one to the front here. Pidgeot, very nice work there. Very artwork. <laughs> Kakuna, side me off again. The Kensugamori artwork. Oh, Electrode in niche form. Really, really cute with the random bolt over the back. It's definitely in a power plant. You can tell by the background. All right, I believe that's where they all are. And they pretend to be Pokeballs on the floor that you usually can grab as an item in the game and then they attack you. And well, Shiny one attacked me one day. That's why Shiny Voltorb is special to me. <laughs> Just like Shiny Ditto. Pidgey. Ooh, very nice Nido Queen. Looks very intense. Definitely love that artwork. It's such a nice set. It's so underrated in my opinion. Especially with all the full arts you can get for a Japanese set. Usually Japanese sets are very small. I've seen sets even smaller than like 60 cards. So this is what, 119? Pretty big, and pretty good selection for a Japanese set. So very happy about that. Nidorina. Ooh, and Erica. Really, really nice Erica holographic there. Let's keep going. Lots of nice Gen 1 featured cards and Pokemon as well. Gym leaders and even the starters. All right, Charmeleon. Rizado in uh, Japanese. Hitmonlee, Squirtle, and Pidgeot. Very nice. Lots of Gen 1 Pokemon in this set, but we'll not complain. Very iconic. All right, let's keep going. So we're more than halfway done with this box. Let's see what else we can get. On to the front. Hopefully another GX. We have Tauros. Primer, Rapidash. So used to seeing it in glaring form as a unicorn. Oh, we got Articuno. There you go. Legendary bird number two. Maybe we'll get Zapdos as well. I haven't seen the Moltres one too often. I think Articuno and Zapdos I've seen from Tag Team All Stars, but I haven't seen the Moltres one. So that was a very nice surprise. Okay, Kabuto looking intense as well. The both fossil Pokemon look really scary in this set. Tentacruel, Psyduck being silly Psyduck, Dragonair, ooh, and Cynthia, my favorite champion. She's badass with <laughs> guard jump, in my opinion. Another my one of my favorite uh, dragon Pokemon. Alright, let's keep going. Love champion trainer designs. Okay, we have Alolan Golem, Weedle, really cute. Uh Voltorb, War Turtle, very nice artwork of War Turtle. Oh, this is the electric gym leader. I don't remember the name. <laughs> it's going to be different in Japanese as well. The names always differ. Even in Sword and Shield, they differ too. But I remember that is the electric type gym leader. Okay, one to the front. Lapras. Kensugamori Lapras in the beach background. Pidgey. Another Kensugamori art. Okay, we have Hitmon, Hitmonchan, not Hitmonlee. And Nido King. Very nice. Very nice art. Still, I believe over 10 packs left. Still have the chance of finding more good cards. Hollows will definitely pop up here and there. So let's keep going. Starmie. Oh, very nice gold duck. Big fan of that <laughs> uh, artwork right there. Nidoran Mail, Paris, Sabrina. Lots of cards from Hidden Fates. <laughs> but with the silver borders, it's like a different experience when you see them in the different card stock. Okay. I don't dislike it as much because it's in a different set and I'm not expecting shiny Pokemon to appear out of nowhere. Viridian Forest, Magikarp, 
Charmander, two Charmander artworks in the set. Very cool. Execute. Oh, we got Venusaur and Celebi. Another GX guys. Smash that like button. I don't have this card yet, so very happy to pull this. Lots of very nice full art and alternative artwork for secret rares in the set with this card. So very happy to pull that one. Lots of new cards. Because I've only opened one booster box of this set in Korean, but I'm very happy to visit the Japanese version. Especially since I like the cardstock better, but they're both fun to compare. I cannot lie about that. Charmander, Hitmonchan, Farfetch'd, really angry Prime, Prime yeah, Prime Haven. Thank you, then Prime Haven. Okay, let's keep going. Snippy, snip, snip. What will this pack have? One to the front. Pinsir. Definitely not used to opening 30 pack booster boxes anymore. <laughs> got so used to the high class boxes. <gasps> oh, we got a Dragonite. I believe this card is also in a tin. So seeing it with the hollow borders is a very different experience. Of course, the tins were in English. The Dragonite hollow had ho had yellow borders rather than holographic borders. Alrighty. What are we going to get in these last few packs? I believe there's five left. Just so you all know. Escape rope. Alolan Geodude. Ponyta. Tentacle. Muk. Scary looking Muk. <laughs> I believe Alolan Muk makes an appearance in Unbroken Bonds or Double Blaze. The other set contrasting this one. Alright. Four more packs left. We have Mr. Mime, Pidgeotto. Very beautiful artwork. Another Squirtle. Very, very nice as well. <laughs> Full picks. Another Electrode Holographic. I think that's like one of the first duplicates I've seen so far. Lots of variety despite it being a smaller Japanese set. Gotta give the pack a little shake so I don't cut anything. Japanese packs are so much harder to open than English packs, in my opinion. You need more physical power for that. Pidgey, Jinx, Brock, so much Gen 1. All right, two packs left. Let us see. But very happy with the GX pulls today, for sure. The GX cards still have not lost their luster with me. <laughs> War Turtle. Charmander, baby Charmander, Kakuna. Oh, look at that! This is a great box today. We got Gengar and Mimikyu. Regular GX, not the full art, but I think now we have all three different artworks. That's gonna be a nice post. Cameraman's very, he's smiling right now. He has a massive smile right now. I know you guys can't see it, but he's very happy right now. All right, one more, last pack guys, last pack. And then we'll do our final review. Last five cards. All right, we have Beedro. Oh, very nice Beedro. I haven't even seen that one yet. Female Nidoran, really cute. Fossil, Chunky Dratini, and Kabuto. All right, be right back with you all. All right, on to our final review. Very, very happy with today's pulls. So if you guys have missed some of the video, here's some of all the beautiful pulls from today. Mole Trace, I'm gonna actually put the legendary birds in their own section. Bill's Analysis, we have Gyarados. I love this artwork of Gyarados. Blastoise, very nice. We have this gym leader, electric gym leader, I forgot the name. Articuno, we didn't pull Zapdos today, but I'm gonna put them there anyway. Erica, two electrodes in knit form, really cute. Oh, there's two, oh, they're both together, look at that. <laughs> Dragonite, I didn't even intend that. Onto our GXs, we have Pikachu, Zekrom, iconic as usual. Celebi, Venusaur, I have not pulled this one yet, so very happy about that. So if it's in the set, there's also a beautiful full art. Very happy about this one, Gengar and Mimikyu. Cameraman's also very pleased with this one. I love how, well centered not even the borders it's just the artwork is like placed in the center it just makes the uh, artwork pop more in my opinion and of course wow i'm very amazed we even pulled this today the full art gengar mimikyu i'm happy but i know someone else is happy right now <laughs> and this one looks really really cool and i already completed the gengar um cards in this set because i have the alternative artwork in korean so that'll be a fun photo on instagram crystal collects if you guys enjoyed today's opening and enjoyed all the polls please make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe if you'd like to see more multi-language pokemon openings stay safe everyone we'll see you in the next video